Hi, I'm Tim Vandegrift from Master Vintner. Today we're going to be answering some of your commonly asked questions about winemaking. A reader writes, the instructions give a wide range for specific gravities. The starting specific gravity is sometimes described as 1080 to 1090. I'm a brewer. We aim for real accuracy. Why are the instructions so vague? And how do I know exactly what to target? That's a great question. The instructions are deliberately vague because sometimes the kits themselves will change depending on the harvest uh, and the ripeness of the grapes and changes in the style of the kit. So there can be some variation from that. In addition, inexpensive hydrometers don't always read exactly accurately. We don't want people to panic, so we've given a wide range. Here's another question. How can I calculate my alcohol content? Well, this is a very good question. A lot of people want to know exactly what alcohol level is in their wine. The simple formula is this. Take your starting gravity before you pitch the yeast. Be sure to write it down. On bottling day, when you're ready to go into the bottle, take your final specific gravity reading. Subtract your first gravity reading from the second gravity reading and get that number. Let's say your wine started out at 1.090, okay? and it finished at 0 0.990. So if we subtract one from the other, we get the number of 0 0.1000. You follow? Multiply that number by 131. That's a derived factor, so you have to remember that. Write it down someplace. When we multiply that by 131, we get a figure of 13.1. A wine that goes from 1090 to 990 is 13.1% alcohol. And that math works every single time. There you go. Here's another question. People often tell me they've never liked homemade wine because every example they've had has been too sweet. Is there something we can do to increase the attenuation or techniques of, to avoid? That's another good question. A lot of people who've had homemade wine in the distant past have experienced either fruit wines or some other recipe from scratch. Many of these recipes are very high in sugar to start with, with specific gravities exceeding 1.100. This means that their potential alcohol is in excess of 14 or 15 percent when they finish. Alcohol in solution tastes sweet. So some of these homemade wines may have actually been so alcoholic they had a sweeter taste than normal. Others may not have finished fermentation and been under attenuated. Master Vintner wine kits attenuate fully and completely. They're completely dry unless you want to sweeten them up yourself at the end. So there's no need to worry about uh, attenuation or troubleshooting them for uh, getting the gravity any lower. Master Vintner kits ferment out cleanly and thoroughly every time. I'm Tim Vandegrift from Master Vintner. Love your wine.